Hello everyone, welcome back to my second channel, welcome back to Jack in the Books. Today, I have this stack of 10 books, and I basically thought what I would do is open them up and read the first line of each book and then rank them based on how good I think the first line of each book is. Does that make sense? I hope it does. I came up with this concept <laughs> about five minutes ago, and now the camera is on, the books are here, we're gonna just do it. As far as I know, I don't think this is an existing booktube challenge, so maybe I invented it, <laughs> maybe I didn't, I don't know. And I'd love to see other people make this same video. Um, so these are the 10 books that I chose. Um, I just picked these at random kind of from my bookshelf. And I thought this could be fun because it kind of gives you a bit of an impression of what the writing style of each book is gonna be like um, from the first line. I think the first line is so crucial. And as someone who is kind of working on my own book right now, the first line is so important to me. Like when I'm reading a book, the first line, it's the first impression, you only get one. And so I'm finding I'm putting a lot of pressure on myself to write a really killer first line. So let's see. Um, how these are. The first book we have is The Silence of the Girls. This is by Pat Barker. And the first line is Great Achilles, Brilliant Achilles, Shining Achilles, Godlike Achilles, How the Epithets Pile Up. We never called him any of those things. We called him The Butcher. Ooh, okay, I like it. Kind of like flipping the existing narrative that we have about Achilles being this great hero on its head. I like that, you know? One of the most important things about first line is setting the tone for the rest of the book and from what I know about this book, The Silence of the Girls, it is about re-centering and focusing on female narratives and female characters within Greek mythology when normally the men sort of take centre stage like Achilles. So, wow, okay, that's a really good one. I mean, obviously at the moment that's in first place. I feel like I need like a stand to put things on so you can see my visual Hmm, how can I do that? I'm going to try and fashion some kind of stand. I am using kitchen roll, but look, then I can make like, oh my god, it's perfect! Oh my god, that's so good, that's genius! Wow, you know, sometimes I think I have literally one brain cell, and other times, literally Albert Einstein right there. Okay, I'm gonna like, tear the books, like, so you can actually see, um, my ranking. <laughs> How good was that? Anyway, <laughs> the next book is this one. This is Acts of Service by Lillian Fishman. And the first line of this book is, we'll get there eventually. I had hundreds of nudes stored in my phone, but I'd never sent them to anyone. Oh, that's a cracking first line too. Oh, that also really sets the tone. Do you know what? That, I think that would make me want to read the book more than the first one, even though both of these are great. So that's going in at the number one spot so far. I don't know an awful lot about this book, but that already tells me it's going to be irreverent and honest and raw, um, and just super real, and I like that, so acts of service. Next we have Sea of Tranquility. Edwin St. John St. Andrews, 18 years old, hauling the weight of his double-sainted name across the Atlantic by steamship, eyes narrowed against the wind on the upper deck. He holds the railing with a gloved hand, impatient for a glimpse of the unknown, trying to discern something, anything, beyond sea and sky, but all he sees are shades of endless grey. You know, I, I get it, like, it, it's nicely written, but it's not necessarily the most exciting thing I've ever read. Also, super long sentence, which actually, if anything, turns me off a little bit, because I often find those books aren't quite as engaging because you're doing like mental gymnastics to keep up with every clause of the sentence. So of the three, <laughs> it's my least favourite, but it was still really nice. Establish the setting and establish the character in one sentence, so that's pretty good going, right? Next we have Carrie Soto is back. I have read this one, this is the first of these books that I've actually read. Let's have a look at the first line. My entire life's work rests on the outcome of this match. I mean, that, that does set the tone quite well for what the book is about, and it does kind of pull you in. We establish straight away the importance, the personal significance of this game and how high the stakes are. Yeah, I mean, I like it, but for now it's going in at number three. Next book is The Idiot. Um, let's have a look. I feel like I'm predicting this could be a really great opening line. I didn't know what email was until I got to college.
well, um, okay, I was wrong, <laughs> and that's okay. That's actually the worst one so far, so there you go. It's not a bad, op no, it, no, it is a bad opening sentence, actually. It's just boring. I'm gonna scooch over so you can still see me. The next book is, I think we're getting into books that I've read now, yeah. Um, the next book is Giovanni's Room. This is so stunning and beautiful. Um, I underlined the opening line of this book when I read it, so... This one's good. I stand at the window of this great house in the south of France as night falls, the night which is leading me to the most terrible morning of my life. Oh, such a good opening line. I love that. Straight away, I'm hooked. And holy hell, is this book an emotional heptathlon. Um, hmm, I'm gonna put that in here. Oh, I'm really debating second or third. I'd love to see, you know, um, comment your own rating in the comment section down below based on these. Um, that would be really cool actually to see how much we kind of agree with each other. I think I maybe will put it here. Just because I like the way that um, The Silence of the Gods flips the classic narratives we have about mythology on its head. I think that was quite cool. Well, uh, here's a book that I hated. Um, this is The Disaster Taurus. This was such a slog to get through, genuinely. It took me ages and ages. I stopped for a while and then picked it back up. Let's see. Okay, so the opening line of this actually is pretty good. News of the deaths moved fast that week. Yeah, okay, it's a shame that it doesn't keep up that writing style throughout the book, because <laughs> I was so bored reading this. Um, I think I might even put that in at fourth place, because that is quite captivating. Next book is called Acts of Desperation. I love the, the title of this book, that it's called Acts of Desperation, because it's kind of a story told in two acts. So I like that kind of double meaning of the word acts uh, in the title there. So firstly, you have a woman who is obsessed with this guy that she's dating. And then the second half of the book, she's kind of trying to shake him off. So let's see what the opening line is. This book has some great quotes, so. Okay, um, the first time I saw him, I pitied him terribly. Hmm, okay. Um, I think maybe I'm gonna put it in here. Okay, the pile is at high risk of falling over, not gonna lie, it's literally being held up by my kitchen roll. It's really a balancing act at this point, but um, yeah, I think, I think that's, where it belongs. Another fantastic title, literally a book I bought entirely because of the title, Someone Who Will Love You In All Your Damaged Glory. This is written by the creator of Bojack Horseman, so, um, and again, there's some really, really funny and witty and brilliant lines, so I think this is gonna have a cracking first line too. It's funny because I've read these books, um, but you kind of forget what the opening line was and how it set the tone because you only get to know that tone later on in the book as you continue. So let's see, the date is going well. <laughs> that's it, that's the, that's the opening line. Okay, let's, that's only five words, so I'll give it, I'll give it another line too. The date is going well, he's handsome and charming and everything he claimed to be on the website. Oh, I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. And actually, to be honest, the fact that that was kind of underwhelming Sort of rings true for the book because I was a little bit underwhelmed. The, the book starts really strong, like the first, um, the first short story in the collection is the best one. And it sort of just goes downhill from there. The final book is this one, another book that I didn't love. Um, this is One of the Boys by Daniel Magariel. And the opening line is, my father was swerving around cars, speeding, honking. I rested my head on the strap of the seatbelt, tried to ignore how fast he was driving, unsure if he was outrunning the storm or just angry with me. This is a book about an abusive father who is struggling with addiction, but is also a master manipulator. Um, and it's kind of about how he manages to manipulate situations for his own benefit and for his own gain. So this opening line does kind of introduce you to that character and that dynamic between father and son really well. Um, so I'm going to put this one here, I think, in fourth place. So the final rankings, da 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 da! Acts of Service by Lillian Fishman in first place. That really was an act of service to the literary world. Thank you, Lillian Fishman. So that is my final rankings. I can't believe that the book that won is about sending nudes. I'm actually gonna film a part two with 10 other books that I have on my bookshelf because I, Quite enjoyed that, not gonna lie. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.